YouTube, you know me, I'm a very straight to the point kind of person. When I have sex, I carry surgical scissors, so that way when I want to bust a nut, I can just snip open the C-section scars and nut straight into the source and plant my seed right in that pile of dirt. I don't know where I was going with that, but anyways, today we have some great news. EDP 445, aka Evacuate Dem Preschools 445, has been caught again. Now, I'm not saying that it's good necessarily that he was talking to another minor, but I am saying that it's good that he was actually caught again. And this time, it wasn't just by some predator hunters, it was by the predator hunter duo, Skeeter Jean and Jideon. And boy oh boy, the video I don't think has released yet, but they are back at some heat with the shit they've leaked bars. But no, the first leak that came around was there was a little clip, and I'll play it now. And I mean, come on, he doesn't look happy to be there, man. Like, he could have at least lifted his fat rolls and done, like, a little curtsy bow like ladies did with their dresses in the olden days and not have been a fucking dick. I mean, the link up, I'm, I'm very aware that the American commercial flight system exists, but it's pretty bizarre. EP is from, like, Nevada or California or something. Jideon lives in Texas and Skeeter Jean lives in Michigan, I think. So unless this video was filmed in California or Nevada, this woolly mammoth is a little bit far from the Smithsonian. But this video just is, there's so much to unpack. For starters, I know Jideon, I think he's supposed to be dressed as a cupcake, but he looks like the gym teacher from The Amazing World of Gumball, and I, I can't take it seriously, which I guess it's like the point of what Jideon does, is he kind of like makes, I think he did one where they dressed as like Care Bears in onesies or whatever. I'm not sure how Chris Hansen feels knowing that modern sting operations are led by people that look like a pink bedazzled version of Bubble Bass from Spongebob, but hey, they're getting the job done and getting people off the streets, so I can't complain too much. I don't even understand how this manages to happen to you twice, like obviously, you know. I'm not validating what pedophiles are by any means, but I do know, I don't remember what documentary I watched it in, but it is a disease, and it's not, like, curable. Like, a meeting with Chris Hansen isn't gonna turn off that, like, thing in their brain, but there is several things they can do, I think, mentally rehab-wise to do it, and the fact that he's just still out on the prowl somehow is just insane. And it makes you wonder how many people he's gone for within that time frame, because I feel like to be a pedophile and end up on a sting operation, the chances are pretty low, and to be on two sting operations, operations, the probability of that happening means you have to have talked to I don't fucking know how many kids. Which he must just, like, know that there's, like, a sting operation going on at this point to be caught twice. I imagine Skeeter Jean and Jideon have, like, little walkie-talkies, and when they found out that it was EDP that they were capturing, one of them walkie-talkie to the other and was like, we're gonna get a little two-piece. And EDP, who I assume somehow also had a walkie-talkie on the same frequency, was like, two-piece, <laughs> and then hobbled his fat ass down to wherever this video was filmed. But like I said, to have been doing this for so long and being caught twice, which once again, no one should support, I don't support it. How do you even talk sense into a man like this? Because I can't imagine Skeeter Jean and Jideon trying to talk sense into this guy and being like, Brian, it's a simple age thing. You divide the age by two, add seven. Mm, Dairy Queen seven dollar meal deal. But yeah, it's, it, the concept's still insane to me. Moving on to the next piece was a piece that was posted on Skeeter Jean's Instagram literally right before I sat down to film this video, I think. But yeah, just, just roll the clip on that. I have a few questions. I want to know what this picture is of you with the, the makeup on. Do you recall this picture, Bryant? Bryant, Bryant, can you look here? I just want to know what this is. Like, what in the actual fuck is this? I, Bryant? I mean, calling him by his government name is insane. Like, I get it, because it would just be weird if he called him by his, like, YouTube channel ad. EDP, EDP, evacuate them preschools, 445. Can you explain this image to me, please? Which is also not even as insane as this image. Like, I mean, obviously, we can tell by Jideon laughing at the end. Like, this is definitely a, a bit just to add insult to injury to EDP's current case, which is completely fine because he fucking deserves it. But imagine this was, like, Chris Hansen, and there was, like, a genuine, like, look of concern and confusion. He was like, Brian, Brian, what the fuck? Brian, what is this? What the fuck? It looks like you, it looks like you gave a, ch a child a Percocet and a pack of crayons and told him to go ham. What the, what the absolute fuck is this? Yeah, I finally hope that this guy gets the, uh, the mental help that he needs, or just federal prison for that matter, because I'm sure the internet can really afford to laugh at this happening again, but horrible people are out there, man, and getting them up off the streets is a great thing. I really hope that a second time is hopefully this guy's, like, beginning to better himself. I mean, no shot, he tries to reform himself, and then some kid messages him on Roblox DMs, he's like, <laughs> a third time's the charm. But yeah, I mean, that's probably gonna be about it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to like and subscribe, and share this video with a friend, because if you enjoyed it, they might also as well.
be sure to follow me on the bird and on the gram and for those of you that don't want to hear what i have to talk about next be good people and peace out now for the ones that enjoy me yapper mouthing on the internet here is my little depressive rant i'm trying to make um a video weekly on this account but it is just so hard to find video topics worth talking about i do not give a flying fuck about like the regular youtube drama shit that commentary youtubers are talking about now the little like oh nick is not green and like up dog and super mega and a cheetah and synthesis don't get me wrong i'm cool with sensitive society like we aren't mutuals but um i was actually the creator of one of his channel banners that he used for like a year and a half so i'm pretty proud of that he makes pretty good digestible content but that's just not me that's him that's like an achito thing their beef with Jalen is their own thing unless Jalen starts beef with yours truly I don't see myself getting involved in talking about that. I don't really even like talking about stuff like this either. I really like, you know, reacting to like Dr. Phil or TLC or just strange videos. You, I'm sure that if you look back like a year down my channel, you'll see what I'm talking about. That's what I like doing. And in today's like internet age, it is so hard to find that with all of the like short form content, video essays, and like just youtuber beef every type of video is like one of those three things now and it's just really difficult to find anything to talk about and i know this is the most like long-winded excuse for not uploading but i really do not want to upload if it's not something that i'm like passionate about talking about this i was able to bear and like kind of enjoy but it's not really my cup of tea i've also got this huge mental thing with um and i don't want to self-diagnose it because obviously i haven't been professionally diagnosed and i feel like that's the only way you should really go through with it um i have like a type of, I guess, performance anxiety. At one end, I kind of feel like I always have to be making something or always creating something, and then I also feel like it needs to be worth watching, and that none of what I'm making is ever going to be good enough. That's why there's so many videos on my main channel that I just don't upload. I have like three or four right now that I could have been uploading, and I just feel horrible about making them because at first it seems like a funny, entertaining concept, but I just feel like I go through these phases where like, I make good jokes, and then I'm like, ah, man, and then I kind of go through my own mental depressive rut, because, like, what if I can never be as good as that again? And sometimes I last for, like, months at a time, and I go through this constant, like, mental feeling of being washed up, and obviously the entire purpose of living isn't to be funny, but in my brain sometimes I get that feeling that, like, ah, what if I'm not as good as I previously was? And it dismotivates me from doing anything, and it leads to a lot of repetitive remarks and shit like that, and I really don't like it, and I'm trying to get that mental part fixed in me, but it just leads to huge depressive ruts where I don't want to make videos for like months at a time, which makes me even more sad because I'm really passionate about making YouTube videos, but I don't know, I just feel like I'm not good enough half the time, and this isn't for like pity or sympathy. I just figure that those that care about why I'm not uploading should probably know that this isn't why I'm uploading. This is why I don't make a lot of videos in general, because I don't want to just be spammy, clickbaity, dingus, doodle derf. And I'm not saying everything has to be my magnum opus, but there was a point where my brain was going through that. But I just want the ability to make stuff that I feel is worth watching and has like an entertaining aspect to it. And that tends to bleed into my real life where I feel like if I'm not making jokes all the time, then I'm failing miserably. And I've still got to find that healthy balance and all sorts of other things. There's a lot that needs to be, like, mentally figured out, at least in my personal opinion. And it leads to these long periods of not wanting to do anything. It's really not an excuse for not uploading, but it's really dismotivating. And I figure that those who care to know why will know why. This is, like I said, it's not to ask for sympathy. Just letting the internet know about my problems, like every white guy that has a microphone on the internet. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, if I find things, new videos soon. So if you guys want to DM me <laughs> videos that you think I could react to, that would also be really nice. But, um, without further ado, for real this time, be good people, and peace out.